only scanning the verdant landscape for signs of swarming honeybees. The forest was alive with the sounds of nature, birds chirping melodiously, and the distant rustle of leaves in the gentle breeze. Elias, with years of experience under his belt, moved with purpose, his beekeeper suit a familiar armor against the occasional inquisitive bee. Amidst this natural symphony, a group of tourists meandered through the forest, their cameras at the ready, eager to capture the beauty of the wilderness. Their paths crossed serendipitously when Elias spotted a particularly vibrant swarm of bees, their collective buzz like a soft, pulsating drum. Ah, you're in for a treat, Elias called out to the tourists, his voice brimming with enthusiasm. You're about to witness the marvelous world of bees, nature's most diligent workers. The tourists, intrigued, gathered around as Elias began to share the intricacies of the bee society, his words painting a vivid picture of the hive's inner workings. In the heart of each hive lies the queen, the sole egg-laying individual whose primary job is to ensure the continuity of the colony, Elias explained, his gaze fixed on the swarm. Each day she can lay up to 2,000 eggs, a testament to her crucial role. The tourists listened captivated as Elias delved deeper into the roles with It's the swarm other. season now. It's 20,024. Here in California, Northern California, Forestville, the Guerneville, California area, we're going to be sharing you some thoughts and some pointers that would help you catch swarms. Let's begin. This is a swarm on one of my trees. I've been looking at this thing quite a bit. And this was last year, 2023. So I decided, how am I going to get these bees? At that time, it was a little confusing for me because they were all boiled up in one part of the tree. It wasn't that high. So I decided to get my trap. So I left the box here, as you see. The tree is right there. The bees fell into the box and I let it stay there. And over couple of months, this is what you see. I have a big frame with bees hanging at the end of the frame. At the time, I only had these boxes. That's all I can use. And the swarm went into there. I shook the, the bees and they fell into the box. And after a season, uh, I let them do what nature does best. And I went ahead and started looking in them, and this is what I found. Bees all over the place. The frames were not that good, as you can see, but there were a lot of bees from this swarm. This particular job was done in Hillsburg, California. Lady had a swarm on a fruit tree. She had big grapefruits and oranges. This one's on a lemon tree. You don't see the lemons. Uh, so this swarm came into our backyard. We put the box here, we set it up, as you see. We left it overnight, but the bees left. They all disappeared and went next door. So we had to go next door and shake those bees back into the box. We was gonna use a vacuum, but we figured, ah, it's enough, it's only a little bit of bees, let's go ahead and shake them and take them. So we did. And we brought this back to a, a yard that was 30 miles away from location. This was another swarm that we picked up here in Marin County. This one was on a tree at a school, uh, at a school location. Boy, do we have a lot to do here. As you see, we built a cone and the bees would uh, go out, but they couldn't come back in. So we put this nook, plastic nook box with some frames, uh, and some honey, and more frames with cone in them. And this took about a week or less than a week, but I think it took us about a week or less. I don't remember, but this is one of the traps that you can do if you wanna get swarm, a swarm from the tree. It's not an easy job. You do need some experience, but you live and learn on these projects. And boy, these bees were flying everywhere. Uh, it was just an amazing trap, an amazing day. And these are one of my jobs of many others. Swarm catching is really good because they're free bees. 
You got a new queen, hopefully. And you can take these bees 30 miles away and start your new hive. This is the way we did it at the school. I love catching bees. How would you get a swarm? In the serene embrace of dawn, a meadow buzzed to life as a bee swarm burst forth, a mesmerizing spectacle of nature's unison. Elena, a young entomologist, and Marco, a seasoned beekeeper, watched in awe. Their lives dedicated to understanding these vital creatures, they discussed the challenges bees face, from habitat loss to climate change, pondering the increased frequency of swarming as a distress signal. Their contemplation was interrupted by Alex, a young boy drawn by the sight. His innocent curiosity and concern for the bees' well-being sparked a teaching moment. Elena and Marco explained the critical role of bees in the ecosystem and the importance of protecting them. Inspired, Alex expressed his desire to help, marking the beginning of a new journey. As the swarm settled into a new home, this unlikely trio, Elena, Marco, and Alex, stood united by a shared commitment to safeguarding these tiny, vital architects of life, each playing a part in the grand tapestry of nature.